Hey everybody, it's Monsel and I'm with Nutripedia and today we're going to talk about focus supplements. What you can take to improve your focus and concentration, your attentiveness, and hopefully without feeling too jittery. Alright guys, I get a ton of feedback literally tens of thousands of emails telling me what people are trying to improve and the number one challenge that people have is increasing their focus and concentration. Across the board, people are looking for focus and concentration supplements. Now guys, when you want to take a focus supplement, the first thing you want to do is look at your lifestyle beforehand because lifestyle factors make a big difference. If you're dehydrated, just simply drinking enough water can boost your cognitive performance and your focus and concentration by up to 14%. So don't forget these lifestyle habits like a good diet, good sleep, because there's no focus supplement that's going to counteract not getting enough sleep. Okay, now moving on to the three specific chemicals that are involved with focus and concentration. They are dopamine, adrenaline, and norepinephrine. Now guys, there's a ton of other factors that are involved with your ability to focus, but these are the three main chemicals, so keep these in mind throughout. Obviously, your first choice is simply caffeine. Caffeine not only improves dopamine and adrenaline, but it helps you to block adenosine receptors, which is a great focus supplement that I'm sure many of you are already familiar with. But you can improve it by doing a couple things. One, you can add L-theanine to create a nootropic blend of L-theanine and caffeine. You can also add it to bulletproof coffee, add butter, add MCT oil, and that'll improve the level of focus that you get from these supplements. Now guys, a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that Adderall is actually a focus supplement when it's not. So it might help you to focus and concentrate in the short term, but it's not going to give you the long term benefits, and usually it just leads to crashes later on in the day. So keep this in mind if you're trying to get Adderall from either a prescription or on the black market, it actually decreases cognitive performance. And there's a number of studies, if you look up the yerkes dodson law, that show you actually decline in cognitive performance with Adderall. So obviously another popular focus supplement is modafinil. And the entire modafinil class includes adrafinil, armodafinil, and these drugs are considered wakefulness in agents not necessarily stimulants, but they can help you focus. Uh, obviously, they are meant for narcolepsy, but they improve dopamine and adrenaline and norepinephrine. However, they don't go as far as Adderall. So they don't have these feelings of euphoria, they don't have this uh, addiction potential, and that's one of the reasons why they have a lot of benefits. Now the one real big difference with modafinil is some studies show it can actually improve working memory, which means not only is it a focus and concentration tool, but it also in improves your overall cognitive performance, which is quite different than other stimulants. Now moving on to the more novel options, you can try tyrosine, which is an amino acid that improves dopamine, but there are other types of tyrosine, such as N-acetyl-L-tyrosine, or NALT, for example, and this is a great option to improve your levels of dopamine, which does help with focus and attention, but it doesn't come with some of the drawbacks that mucutopurians has. Now guys, another option that you can use to improve these three focus chemicals is a combination of hortanine, hydrochloride, and phenylethylamine. Now, hortanine, HCL, is actually an adrenaline reuptake inhibitor, and phenylethylamine ethylamine, can be combined with hortanine in order to improve your focus ability through adrenaline. Now obviously there are plenty of other ways to improve your focus without the dopamine, adrenaline, and norepinephrine, and here are some other examples. Obviously Nupept is an Alzheimer's and memory drug, but it's a thousand times more powerful than Parastin, which means there are some pretty potent effects for some people, and for some it's actually a great focus supplement. Another option is Phenylparastam, which I take daily. That's a lie. I take, you should not take it daily. I take it about once every three to five days because it builds up a tolerance 
really quickly. So it's a great focus supplement. I take anywhere between one to 500 milligrams, but you wanna make sure you don't take it every day, otherwise you will develop a tolerance. Now another option, kind of out of the ordinary, is acetyl-L-carnitine. And it's actually a cholinergic compound, but there are studies with children that have ADHD which show acetyl-L-carnitine can improve focus and concentration by anywhere between 20 to 65 percent. The final option is beta-hydroxybutyrate or BHB which is a ketone body and although it's not incredibly stimulating for some people especially when you're fasted it can be a great focus supplement as well. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. I am sure you're wondering why the heck I raced through this video and it's because I forgot to charge the battery before shooting today. Anyway, I'm glad you guys are here. Hope you've learned something. If you wanna check out the article, go ahead and click here and you'll get all the details. Talk to you guys next time.